You were like the sexiest hood ornament of the 80s, Thank basically. Thank you. Thank you. I did Back then, that. no breasts. No breasts. So what made you want to get breasts when you were doing so well? It must have been something inside of myself where I wasn't feeling secure enough about myself and thought, oh, well, this will take care of the problem. OK. I can't imagine the pressures that Tani must have been feeling at the head of her career. And maybe getting a little enhancement can keep her at that top a little longer. But you know, I got to tell you, it's a scalpel. It's not a magic wand. The fifth and sixth is really where it all started going wrong. Okay. So when I was under, the doctors took the liberty of putting in the size that they felt was going to suit me. And then it gets worse. So I go back to the doctors and I say, look, they're too big. Great, we'll take them out and we'll make your implant smaller. Within six months, the implants started slipping through the mesh. They bottomed out. And now the implants are like down to the bottom of my um, rib cage. On that last revision with the mesh, did they downsize them too? They did downsize Are them. Are you happy with the size? No, I'm not. They're still I, too big. They're still way too big. I don't want the implants at all. Oh, you want to you want to do without implants entirely? Right. It's unusual for an actress, entertainment type person to want to not to have implants anymore. But after a certain period of time, you're fed up with implants and complications associated with them. So I applaud Tawny for wanting to get rid of them. You were the only one who could who could help me. Let's go in, have a look, and see if we can figure out how okay. to help you, OK? All right. All right, great. Great, thank you. There is truly a lot hanging on this exam. Me getting my life back, me getting back into life, me being happy. If Dr. DeBron throws his hands in the air right now, I'd be absolutely devastated.